Hi guys, Lee Burkhardt here with ReFoto and Video, and welcome to our Hands-On with Reef video series. On today's episode, I'm very excited to be sharing with you guys our first impressions of the all-new Nauticam NA-E2F underwater housing for the Zcam flagship series of cameras. Now the housing is designed to fit the Zcam flagship series of cameras, and this particular combo is by far one of the lightest and most compact raw capable underwater cinema systems that we've seen. Both the housing and camera are loaded with a variety of features to enhance any underwater filmmaker's experience. So let's get started by taking a closer look at those. One of our favorite features of this Nauticam housing is its excellent ergonomic design. There are 17 LANC control buttons along the top and sides of the housing, providing easy access to all of your essential controls for focus, exposure, and shooting right at your fingertips. The control layout is really well thought out and is frankly one of the best designs that we've seen. From the right handle, controls for things like record triggering, focus far or near, and electronic ND filters are accessible. From the left handle, controls for custom function buttons 1 and 2, iris control, and playback are all accessible. And along the top, we have controls for power, menu, ISO, and many more. Installing the camera is easy, and the entire system can be assembled in just minutes. Simply unlock the rear housing latch, Remove the camera tray. Attach the tray to the camera. Place the assembled camera and tray back into the housing. Plug in the LANC control cable. And then lock the rear housing latch back into place. Attaching a port is also made simple thanks to Nauticam's patented port locking lever. Simply move the port locking lever to the release position, align the dot on the port to the dot on the housing, push the port into place, and then move the port locking lever back into the locked position. As for lens options, the E2F housing is built around Nauticam's N120 port mount so you have the entire Canon EF lens line to choose from, with solid lens choices in everything from wide angle to macro. Full zoom and focus support for all of these lenses are provided by Nauticam Cinema Gearing, with dedicated cinema style knobs located along the sides of the housing for precise adjustments to both zoom and focus underwater. The housing is also compatible with Nauticam's water contact optics. The SMC1 and SMC2 make an excellent choice for all of you super macro imaging fans, and are among our top recommendations thanks to the superb image quality, contrast, and color that they provide underwater. Nauticam's WACP and WACP2 are also great additions, as they provide incredible image quality and sharpness, and when paired with the right lens, can provide an incredibly versatile option for capturing wide, medium, and close-up shots all during the same dive. 
we have several articles and videos available on all of these optics, and I've included links to all of this content in the video description below for you all to check out. Nauticam's moisture alarm electronics are included, by the way, along with their vacuum electronic system. Now you have to purchase the vacuum valve separately to utilize this, but we highly recommend it as it provides some peace of mind that you've assembled the entire kit properly and it's safe to dive before you enter the water. The housing is loaded with quarter 20 and 10 millimeter threaded mounting points for attaching a whole variety of cinema accessories. Ball mounts can be added along the top for mounting accessories such as lighting or monitors, or even along the bottom for something like tripod legs. The cheese plate design along the top and bottom is perfect for other quarter 20 mounted accessories, such as NATO rails or even top handles. Now it's important to note that the Zcam camera doesn't include any type of monitor, so you'll need to add your own. Nauticam includes both M16 and M28 bulkheads for this exact reason, so you can route an HDMI connection to external monitors, such as the small HD 502 Bright or the Atomos Ninja 5. Both of these monitors make a great addition for any underwater video shooters, as they provide a larger, brighter, 5-inch screen for viewing, and are absolutely loaded with all kinds of assist tools, such as focus peaking, false color, waveforms, and many more that make your job so much easier. Thanks to a recent update from Atomos, the Ninja 5 now supports ProRes RAW external recording, and in our opinion is the stronger monitor choice because of this. Now we put together a series of videos on both of these monitors that discuss all of their features in more detail, so be sure to check those out in the links below. One of the unique features of the NAE2F housing is its support for Ethernet surface feed cables that are available in both a 5 meter length for a pull cam operation and also a 45 meter length for studio work. Remote control options and live previews are all available across the entire Zcam E2 lineup through an Ethernet connection. With the use of an Ethernet to lightning adapter, for example, you can use an iPad or an iPhone to not only monitor, but fully control the camera from the surface through the Zcam app. Now we haven't had a chance to actually test this equipment in the field yet, but stay tuned as we will be covering a full video review on this equipment once the parts become available. And I'll be sure to include a link below in the video description so that you guys can check that out. It can easily be configured into a lightweight, compact form factor perfect for operation on something like a pull cam, or for free diving applications where you want less drag in the water. Or a more built out rig, complete with things like an external monitor, tripod, and video lighting. So now that we've covered all the housing features, let's take a closer look at what the cameras actually have to offer. The entire Zcam lineup are among the lightest and most compact raw cinema capable cameras we've seen. As I mentioned earlier, the Nauticam NAE2F supports the entire Zcam flagship lineup, including the E2S6, the E2F6, E2F8, and the E2M4. This is actually a really incredible feature for underwater cinematographers in rental houses, as you basically have one housing that will support all four cameras, giving you a great deal of flexibility for both clients and potential renters depending on which particular camera they'd like to shoot with. As you can see here, there are some key differences to understand between the different cameras, but all offer some very impressive specs with resolutions ranging from 4K to 8K, high frame rate recording options, excellent dynamic range, internal 10-bit H.265 recording, internal 12-bit Z-RAW recording, and even external 12-bit ProRes RAW recording to devices like the Atomos Ninja 5. The pricing is also very competitive with cameras for just about any budget, ranging from something like $1,500 for an E2M4 up to $6,000 for something like the E2F8, all of which are priced well under competitor options from companies like RED, Sony, Canon, and Panasonic. Now there are way too many specs to discuss between all four of these cameras in a single video, but let's take a closer look at some of the interesting features that all four of these cameras share and more importantly, what kind of benefits they offer for underwater filmmaking. 
The ability to record another 12-bit Z-RAW or 12-bit ProRes RAW is perhaps one of the most interesting specs, as this allows a significant amount of flexibility for changes to both color and exposure in post-production. Here you can see some examples of raw ungraded footage, and the same footage once it's been color graded in post. Even over or underexposed footage, or footage captured in less than ideal water conditions can easily be fixed in post-production. ZRAW is a likely choice for Adobe Premiere users, as ZCam has a plugin for working with ZRAW files natively within the editing program. For Final Cut Pro users, ProRes RAW via the Ninja 5 would likely be the best choice, as you can work with the RAW video files natively. For other editing programs, you can download the ZRAW Video Suite software for free, available directly off their website. This allows you to edit the ZRAW files and then transcode them into a new codec of your choice. The 6K and 8K resolution options offer lots of flexibility in terms of composition, particularly if you plan to render out your final edit on either 4K or Full HD. Here you can see an example of footage captured in the original 6K resolution then crop to 4K, and then crop to Full HD. You can also apply cool effects, such as keyframing, to add more engaging motion effects without sacrificing resolution. With the variable frame rate recording options, you have lots of flexibility for capturing slow motion playback of cool behavior shots, and an excellent tool to help with stabilization and camera shake. Steady, smooth, handheld footage is easily achievable. Another wonderful feature of the camera is its assignable custom function buttons. All of the buttons in the camera can be custom key mapped to a wide variety of camera controls for things like iris, white balance, ISO, and many more. This is a great feature in the sense that you can reroute specific controls exactly to where you want them on the housing and camera. Now, a camera's ability to easily capture a manual white balance is a crucial feature for many underwater filmmakers. And the Z-Cam cameras do this with ease, in just one single step. All you have to do is simply assign any of the custom function keys to white balance, press and hold that button for 3-4 to four seconds, and boom, you're done. For recording media devices, you have several options at your disposal. The camera features a CFast tube card slot for internal recording, with capacities up to one terabyte for plenty of record time. A USB-C connection is also provided, so you can connect an external M.2 solid-state drive, such as a Samsung T5, for example. These provide even faster read and write speeds, and a seamless transition from capturing to editing. There's even a special SSD slot inside the Nauticam E2F housing to accommodate this. Lastly, you can record externally over an HDMI connection to devices such as the Atomos Ninja 5, which is our go-to monitor suggestion for this particular camera, due to the recent update from Atomos that allows 12-bit ProRes RAW recording to the device on either 5.8K at 30 frames per second and 4K at up to 60 frames per second. This is a really awesome benefit for Final Cut Pro users, as the ProRes RAW files are editing friendly and provide significantly faster render times with the right computer hardware compared to the internally recorded ZRAW files. For powering the camera, the Z-Cam accepts Sony's FP series of batteries, and the larger capacity FP970 is supported within the housing. More importantly, the batteries are accessible through the back of the housing without having to remove the camera making battery swaps super easy. Battery life on these is quite good as well. To give you guys some real world examples, I was able to get three long one hour dives on just a single FP970 battery, shooting at both 4K and 6K resolutions with the E2S6. Now the autofocus, as with most cinema cameras, is pretty unreliable in our opinion, so manual focus is the way to go. As I mentioned earlier, Nauticam provides gearing for a wide range of Canon EF mount lenses, and the housing features a dedicated cinema-style focus knob for manual focus control through the housing. Thanks to the LANC controls provided by Nauticam, 
you can utilize the electronic focus controls, which are a great tool for dialing in critical focus exactly where you want on the subject. Now Zcam has also announced a user installable electronic variable ND filter that will be available within the next several months. Nauticam already supports this equipment through the NAE2F housing using the LANC controls. This is a real game changer for underwater shooters, as you can easily apply a variety of ND filters for different lighting scenarios to film with the desired aperture, all while underwater and without having to open up the housing. While there's lots of options between the four different cameras, the important thing to take away from all this is that both the Nauticam NAE2F housing and the Zcam flagship series of cameras offer an incredible value for your dollar. With their high resolution, variable frame rates, and a variety of recording options, they're a strong choice for any underwater filmmaker to consider. Overall, we're thoroughly impressed with the Nauticam NAE2F housing and the Zcam camera's performance. And I hope today's video has been helpful for all of you considering picking this gear up from us. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comments section below or contact our ReFoto staff directly. We all dive and shoot with a variety of this equipment regularly and we're happy to offer any kind of insight or experience that we can to help out with the decision making. If you're curious in learning more about underwater imaging, be sure to subscribe and follow us on our video channel here. And to check out some of our knowledge-based articles or other content, you can visit us at www.refoto.com and just click on the Learn link along the top of the homepage. Well guys, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more cool videos to come soon, and we'll see you on the next one.